I've been with my boyfriend about three years, living together about a year. Prior to him I had a five-year relationship with an older guy, that ended about a year before my current relationship. My boyfriend brought up maybe six months ago how I'd feel about calling him, daddy, in bed. I told him I wasn't comfortable with that and didn't want to. He let it go. A few days ago we ran into my ex at a gas station. He acted really nice, introduced himself to my boyfriend, then made a comment about how he'd have expected my boyfriend to be older, looks a little young to replace him as, daddy, and laughed. My boyfriend didn't really say anything to it, and I quickly said goodbye and rushed us out the door. The car ride was quiet, but when we got home he stormed to our bedroom and slammed the door. Went in trying to talk to him but he refused. Just spread his entire body across the bed so I couldn't get on it as well. It was late, so I went to sleep on the couch for the night. The next day he left for work before I woke up, then came back late. So I tried to talk to him again. He says he's hurt and upset that I lied to him about feeling uncomfortable with calling someone that, and that he realizes now I just don't want to call him that. And I don't think I explained it well to him. That I am uncomfortable with it. My relationship with my ex was a train wreck of bad decisions for years. I met him when I was 19 and he was 36. He became pretty controlling pretty quick but I didn't really notice. I thought I loved him. He asked me to call him that, and I was an infatuated idiot. He was older, mature, had his life together, took care of me, and supported my university and career goals. So I just did it and felt okay with it at the time. Near the end of our relationship, I was realizing he was more controlling than I was happy with and he wasn't treating me like an equal partner like I wanted. It went from he's protective and helpful, to he's restrictive and authoritative. So I broke things off. He didn't take it well, but he never caused me any trouble. Breakup was clean, nothing crazy. When my boyfriend suggested calling him that, it just gave me a bad feeling. Made me think of my ex. How controlling he got of me. How he wouldn't treat me as an equal. And the idea of calling someone that is just very uncomfortable to me now, I didn't lie. I tried to explain that to him but he kept insisting it was something about him. Saying apparently he's not old enough, attractive enough, successful enough, and I don't love him enough. And accused me of still loving my ex, and that if what I said is true I'd have told him when he asked. Which to me if my boyfriend asks that, and I turned around and go, no I don't want to call you daddy because it makes me think of my ex, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Just saying I was uncomfortable, I thought was the best answer because I am. He's now barely spoken to me since that argument. He's been locking the door to the bedroom at night, and has said he needs time to think, so I've just been sleeping on the couch and staying out of his way. I'm not really sure what to do. How to better explain this to him, or how to make it better. I'm really at a loss. I know he's always been pretty. Insecure. But I've always told him I love him find him attractive, and want to be with him. I've reminded him of that since this happened, and he just calls me a liar and walks away. He's made a few passing comments as he walks past me about being surprised I'm home and not out with some middle-aged man or hitting my ex up. Which has really hurt. I feel like that entire relationship was a big dumb mistake, and I can admit that. But I've never cheated on my boyfriend. Gave him any reason to think I'd cheat or didn't want him until this situation that I guess now he feels that way. How your BF is acting is exactly what this dude wanted. Just to set your next relationship on fire. 100% what I thought. No respectful ex would say this to his former partner's new partner without trying to cause a problem. He was definitely trying to create a fight. What you wrote here feels really clear. Maybe text him this exact post? Exactly what I was thinking. The ex defo said what he said on purpose. Could probably sense the new boy's insecurity a mile off. He was a very jealous and possessive man. I wouldn't be surprised if he feels he still has some claim over me or something. We haven't spoken since we broke up until that day though, so I have no clue. He may have just been flat out being a dick for the sake of being a dick. Text him.
greater than my ex was an abusive creep who made me call him that. I hate using that because it reminds me of the abuse and control. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the horrible memories that word evokes. I agree. Leave out all the rest. Only tell him this. Regardless of anything else, your boyfriend handles conflict really poorly. What a mess of red flag behavior. How can he be your big daddy when he's having a tantrum like a toddler? This comment actually made me laugh out loud. His reaction seems extreme. If my partner locked my out of our bedroom for a reason as ridiculous as this I'd probably leave him. I'd try one more time to get through to him and if he is still being a this immature about things you should really start rethinking the relationship. Him locking you out and accusing you of cheating constantly is a control tactic. He is trying to guilt you into calling him, daddy. Your no should have been good enough without an explanation. Even when my BF and I get in arguments we never sleep apart or go to bed angry. I can't imagine my BF locking me out of my bedroom and I don't see him ever doing that. He should be calling you, mommy, with the way he's acting like a child throwing a whole ass temper tantrum. Not going to lie, this one made me chuckle lol. Your decision not to call him that is more than reasonable. A normal guy wouldn't want to get called a pet name that makes their girl think of their ex. I up you that with a he would try to follow up with asking if you are okay instead. You left one abusive relationship for another. Your ex is a dick and daddy is cringy AF. Your new dude needs to get over it. To be perfectly frank, what your boyfriend is doing is another form of controlling behavior. Shutting someone out and the refusal of conversation or affection is emotionally abusive. Regardless of how hurt he is, it's still not right to treat you that way, especially in a shared space. Exactly. You aren't doing what I say so I'm going to put, be angry, kick you out of our room and completely ignore you. That's not healthy. That's not communicating. And it is manipulative and abusive. He is trying to make you feel like shit for something you don't want to do, which you have to do. His ego is fragile and obviously has massive insecurities which should not be directed toward you. I would suggest really thinking about other times that he has acted this way, even if they weren't as extreme and see if there is a pattern of this behavior. Your BF got a glimpse into why that word may make you uncomfortable but instead he had himself a pity party? A very aggressive pity party at that. Exactly. Her ex bringing that up like that was trying to do this. It was manipulative and stirring the pot and now her BF has totally fallen for the ruse and is buying into the ex's paradigm. I don't agree with his reaction. I felt your boyfriend handled it in an immature fashion. There are more things to this than on the surface. I would say that he might see it as him not being man enough and your ex was. As a guy it might have a connotation linked to bedroom performance and your ex being better. A lot of things are a competition for some men where they want to feel like they're better than an ex. He wants to feel like the alpha and that you respect him as well as desire him to be a dominant. He might be feeling that way and those insecurities are coming out. So your ex being called that and him not might make him feel not so much emasculated but definitely hit his ego. Dot. Again I'm not saying I agree with him because I don't but that's what may be going on to an extent. Dot. The best thing to do is communicate your feelings that you expressed on here. If he keeps acting the way he has, he will end up losing you. So, he's basically asking the heavens why oh why you won't call him, daddy, when he's thrown a multiple day long tantrum about this? I know it's because it's icky and reminds you of your ex, but honestly, the dude has got some other issues going on. He doesn't have daddy vibes. More like toddler vibes tbh. Aside from everything in these comments, which are mostly great, do you really want to spend your life propping up that fragile and ego? I completely understand why he's hurt. Poor reaction, but his feelings aren't invalid at all. Call him a daddy and leave. That's the most unhealthy narcissistic reaction I've heard.
he should be supportive and apologize for bringing that shit up. Instead he's acting just like the previous daddy. What is this obsession with being called daddy anyway? Sounds more like he's pissed there's a bigger asshole out there so he can't really bring any new assholeness to the table. If I am being honest, his reaction would be more than enough to make me turn away. You saying that calling him, daddy, made you uncomfortable, that should be more than enough. If his insecurities get in the way of him being able to see the love that you have for him and given to him, ask yourself is this distress worth it? You literally did absolutely nothing wrong. Yet he is attacking your character constantly and having a bloody temper tantrum for multiple days. You deserve better, pain and simple. It seems to me that your BF has insecurities of being inferior to your ex since he's not as, older, richer, sexier, or whatever. I believe he does want a relationship dynamic at least sexually where he feels more in control or dominant. Nothing wrong as long as it's safe and consensual. And when he found out that you used to call your ex that, on surface level, it probably hurt a lot. Also, the whole situation of the ex coming up and pretty much de-emasculinating him in front of you while he was too shocked to defend himself also doesn't help. But you side is completely absolutely valid but he just doesn't see that yet. Just like how he has a side you do too. Both of you need to sit down and explain it better. Especially coming from a person who also experienced personally and secondhand a lot of toxic age gap relationships and how young girls are often controlled by older partners later on and how it sometimes turns toxic. The aversion to the daddy trend is very expected. It evokes almost a trauma response and an internal cringe in me when before it was very sexually interesting. As for any ideas after you guys make up. Ask if he would like any other dominant names in bed besides daddy that he likes. There are other options. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy. I've run into this attitude before, and it's both bonkers and offensive. It leaves no room for women to try things and not like them, or for our tastes to change. I used to drink coffee with my ex, because he was a bully and a snob and kept trying to convince me I just hadn't had the perfect cup yet. I am not now doomed to drink burned bean juice with all subsequent romantic partners until the end of time just to be fucking fair. I mean obviously. But communicate that at the beginning. What your baggage is and why it exists. If you say no to anal and I later find out that you seem to be a willing and enthusiastic participant. That's gonna leave a terrible taste. Any rationalization after the fact sounds like something that you would say to keep me locked into the relationship. Hence the mistrust. People's boundaries can change though? Especially as they grow from a teen in a toxic relationship to a mature adult? Regardless of the fact that it reminds you of your ex or whatever, your BF should just accept that you were okay with it then and not now? It seems basically that he's really bad at communicating, and just ignores you for days like an overgrown toddler instead of speaking about it maturely. And this instance didn't even warrant such a reaction. Why is he so upset that you don't want to call him daddy even if you've done it before? I'd suggest explaining it to him again as you did in this post and maybe have a conversation about how your boundaries aren't being respected and it's not okay for him to get angry if you don't want to do something, regardless of the past. That's just a shitty reason to get mad. Like why would he think it's got anything to do with money or age tears of joy? Edit. This is not even something you should have to explain. If you're not comfortable with it now and we're back then, that's just something he should respect. And not even that, he reacted like a child. I'd seriously talk to him and reevaluate your relationship depending on the outcome of the talk-op.